Today, we will bring in some techniques that will help you uh, portray your characters better. Okay? Suppose you are playing a role of a child who is lost in the forest okay? and uh, you are trying to find some clues to reach your home but suddenly you are not able to get any of it and then you start howling in the forest or maybe just crying let's start with crying so how do you do crying we generally prefer in theater to sit at a place uh, have some kind of body language and then express crying but here let's learn the technique only okay so what you have to do is you have to breathe in from your nose two times okay and then release it from your mouth making a sound from throat <coughs> three times can you try that Let's do it. It's so much fun. Breathe in two times and release it from your mouth, making a sound from your throat three times. <laughs> this time, when you make the exhaling sound, you will shake your shoulders. You will shrug your shoulders also. Okay? Shall we do that? It's going to be very rhythmic. Let's do it. So, breathe in and breathe out. <laughs> making a crying face a sad face now let's see how it works with the dialogue okay I'm, I'm lost in the forest <laughs> oh wow you all were fabulously doing it so this is how you can add uh, some life to your character by using Vachi Kabhinay, okay? So, something that we did just now is called Vachi Kabhinay. Vachi Kabhinay is all about playing with the sounds and exploring the sounds in your body, okay? Today, we are going to explore three chords of sound of our body. So, in our body, we have seven chords of sound, okay? All the saptak, saregama padhani, comes from our body. Each part has got one knot and today we'll explore three knots that, that are one from stomach, one from throat and one from nose. Okay? So let's start with the basic one first. I want you all to make a roaring sound like lion. Can you roar like lion? Breathe in. Yeah, breathing has got a major role to play in all the actions in theatre. So you have to have a wonderful breathing pattern. A you know great lungs and that's why I always recommend you to do the breathing exercise on a regular basis so breathe in once again and roar so what happens when when we roar the roar sound goes all the way from throat to stomach otherwise it will not be impactful in order to have a impactful roaring we have to use our stomach cord let's do it together Okay, how you can feel that you're using your stomach cord, put your one palm on your stomach and see whether you can feel the sound on your stomach or not. Ready? Let's go. Breathe in and roll. <laughs> Did you feel something around your tummy? Let's do it one more time. Breathe in and then both your hands on your stomach. Breathe in once, one more time. Breathe in and roar did you feel something around your stomach some sound some vibration yes great 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 clap for yourself so that was one chord that we explored through roaring sound and the dialogue that we can associate with this chord is you remember the uh, have you ever heard the dialogue mogambo khushwa so if you see in the movie Mr. India, there is a character Mogambo and uh, he repeatedly says Mogambo Khushwa for 5-6 times in one scene and all the dialogues that he has delivered has come from the stomach cord. That's, you know, it's, it's applaudable. Amrish Puri was a great actor and he could do that. Let's try if we can also achieve it, yeah? Let's try and repeat the lines with me, okay? Put your hand on your stomach and make sure that you are making the sound from your stomach cord. Okay? Ye jo awaz hai aapki, aapke stomach cord se aani chahiye. Let's try that. Mugambo. Khush hua. 
more gamble, Koshua, more gamble, Koshua, more gamble, Koshua, more gamble, Koshua, Koshua. So that's how you can manipulate the sound cords of your body.